Welcome back from the break. We hope you're still tuned in to KTN Farmers TV. And today we are talking about organic strawberry farming here on Fresh and Fruity. Now, Kibe, aka our strawberry, who is our expert, is going to continue to tell us how efficient we can do this business for commercial production and getting good yields from your strawberry farm. Kibe takes us through the recommended management practices on a strawberry farm for maximum yield production. You've already planted the strawberry, okay? Now you need to do what you call grooming of the plant. Now remember this, ideally you want fruits at the end of the day. Now, I know you've read probably that you need to cut off the first, the first flowers, then you let them fruit, okay? But for us, the strawberry farm, what to recommend, what is recommend? Cut off your white flowers for the first four months, 120 days. So remember this, the flower always becomes the fruit, okay? Maua inakwa matunda. So by cutting off the white flower, okay, what you are doing, you are letting the white flower not produce fruits as for the first 120 days. So by cutting off the white flower, we are letting the energy the plant would have used to produce the fruit is retained within the plant itself. Darudi yotena. Sababu ya kukata maua so that energy yote ambayo ingetumia mmenge tunyo kutoyo matunda itabaki ndani wa mea wenyewe. So that once we start producing the fruit, we get a large fruit at the end of the day. Because ideally, we mwenye unafanya strawberries, unataka matunda kubwa. Utaki matunda ndogo. Okay? So here what you're going to do is how to groom the plant. So, cutting off the white flower is very simple. Okay? Now, this bed right here, for example, kama huu mmea huyu, ako na white flowers already. Ikikuja kato kata easy white flowers, gopyo kuchafua mkono. Because they say good things come from the land. Okay? Kwa hivyo, nakunga kasa since kuna nyashi na kuna maji utosha mikono. So I come back to my plant itself, look for my white flowers, and I find it. Now always go right at the base of the plant. I cut off the white flower. Now you can see this distance right here is where the runner, sorry, where the, where the flowers attach to the mother plant. Now these are the white flowers. And you can see, ajua genealogy hii matunda is very simple. The white flower, it may bloom. And you can see up and down, this is going to be the strawberry fruit itself. So strawberry fruit, strawberry fruit. Alafu unaona hii sasa haijajifungua bado. And that's when Kisema, you're able to harvest your fruits twice or thrice a week, depending on the size of your shamba. Okay? It's because of this. So twice a week. So let's say Monday. So Monday, I'll harvest these two fruits. Okay? That's my first time of harvesting. Friday, my second time, I'm to harvest huyu. Because now huyu atakuja bloom, akwe matunda. Okay? And this process is an ongoing process over and over and over and over again. That's why when you're doing your strawberries organically, they'll be in your chamber for two and a half years, going to three years. Okay? So, we wonder how we have done the preparation, how we have planted, how we have cut off, and the reason you're cutting off the white flower. Pruning and weeding are among the important management practices in a strawberry farm. This aids in keeping the bed clean, preventing pests and diseases, and providing ample space for the fruit to develop. Like any plant, generally, okay? Utanza kupata vitu kama dead flowers, dead, dead leaves huko ndani. You need to do what we call pruning at the end of the day, okay? Now, one thing you'll realize, the advantage of using the black or the silver uh, paper mulch, eh? unapata that your weeds are very minimal at the end of the day because the paper suppresses the weeds. And the only weeds that you actually have ni easy upper. And you find that the weeds are always just outside the bed itself. So easy, just prune them off. Now, you have two options here. Either just prune off the, the weeds, either throw them away or now put them in your compost, okay? Simple and done. So, to me prune here. Now, when it comes now to pruning off the dead leaves 
of the strawberry plant itself, eh, it makes my work much, much easier at the end of the day. Always prune your, your dead leaves from the bottom going up. Because unapata all the dead leaves, they always right at the bottom of the plant itself. You are going to cut right at the base of the plant. Okay, and we cut, and we cut, and we cut, and we cut. Cut like that. The advantage about it is that Okanga virais is sana because they're already dead. Okay? Remember, from the bottom going up, not vice versa. Kafazali. From the bottom going up. And we already have our dead leaves right here. So, again, if you have compost, to pay for compost. Okay? Because as are these plants themselves, they'll decompose, then you can use it as manure again. If you don't have, don't worry. You can always put them aside. It's going to be manure for other plants. But for pruning our strawberries, it's that simple. Okay? Remember this. Key point. When you're pruning your leaves, your dead leaves, you should be able to see, remember the planting holes are 30 centimeters from one plant to the other? You should be able to see each plant individually. That's how you're going to know you've done very good pruning. Strawberries are likely to be attacked by pests such as slugs, mosquitoes and fruit flies which destroy the quality of your fruit on the farm. Now you need to do what you call grooming of the plant. Now remember this, ideally you want fruits at the end of the day. Now, I know you've read probably that you need to cut off the first, the first flowers then you let them fruit, okay? But for us, the strawberry farm, what to recommend, always recommend, cut off your white flowers for the first four months, 120 days. So remember this, the flower always becomes the fruit. Okay? Mawa inakwa matunda. We have come to the end of our today's episode on organic strawberry farming and it is my belief that your comments and feedback have been answered by our expert Kibe aka our strawberry because you can also reach to him and visit this demo farm and also learn how to grow your strawberries organically. Now keep the conversation going on our SMS platform that is 22071 and also on our Facebook and Twitter accounts at Farm Kenya 254. Tell us what you would like to learn on our fresh and fruity show and we will go right to eat and assist you to make money from your fruit business. I have been your host through the show Margaret Werimo. Until next time, goodbye.